Hey, what is going on guys? Edward here back with another video. This time with something a little bit different now since I know you've been seeing me trading order blocks very often. That's what I'm doing lately. Uh, but right now, I want to show you now back to the old days, you know, a retail trader strategy. Um, but it's kind of like what I'm going to show you right here. It's an entire strategy an entire an entire strategy build up from like I'm gonna definitely explain from from A to C definitely all the steps you need to use in order to uh, to make this strategy actually a profitable one okay and again it's an entire complete strategy from A to Z and, and this is, we're going to have a few rules right here that we have to follow, okay? And I'm going to write it right here. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm going to write down a few rules we need, okay? First, we're going to need um, two indicators. We're going to need a moving average, SMA, right? Special move, uh, simple moving average. I don't know why I was saying a special moving average. <laughs> So simple moving average, we're going to use the 20 and the 50, okay? So 20 and 50 simple moving average. We're going to be using those two moving averages. And um, there is an indicator that I like to use basically just to, for backtesting. You can just remind or, or, or just remember the times, okay? And that indicator is called time zone. Okay, we're gonna need that, and uh, that's basically part of what you're gonna need. Now, as part of your entry, you have to build up some rules. Okay, and guys, I've been explaining this from the very beginning. You gotta have a plan if you want to be a profitable trader. There is a lot of things around. You could have the best strategy, but if you don't have a plan on how to use it exactly and when to use it then forget it you're not, you're not going to be profitable and this is where people keeps making mistakes okay so if you don't like let's say you, as i mentioned you don't like trading order blocks because you think that thing that's an exist i you just like trading a retail as a retail trader right normally just price action maybe just using a moving average here and there this this will definitely work for you but again you have to have a plan and what i'm going to show you right here it's the entire plan all right so, uh, right here, very important as part of the plan and part of the rules that you're going to be having is we're going to be trying to aim. You can go to uh, from one to two. Let's see. The risk to reward will be either one to two or one to three maximum. Okay. You can try both. Whatever of these two things you prefer, either one to two or one to three, whatever those two, is is just fine. Okay. Another uh, thing that you're gonna need is that once the price is half way up, you have to uh, take partial profits and move stops. To break even that's a simple rule that most of you guys are not following okay all right that's very important you guys are not following just a simple rule right here this is basically what you need okay now let's go ahead and jump on the charts you can do this whatever on indices on gold um, because it's just price action and we're going to be following especially these two moving averages okay so i have this indicator here it's called sma uh let me show you here just right quick it's just simple moving average uh where is it simple moving averages this one right here okay this is the creator now it will come with a bunch of other lines you don't need you only need you, you're going to uncheck this line, so you're going to be using this two, and you're going to be selecting the, t the 20 and the 50, 
right? The colors you can put whatever color you want, right? So boom, you have those. It's kind of slow right now, but it's not showing. Okay, there we go. So again, you can put whatever color you want and the time zone. Oh, and I forgot. This is a scalping strategy, guys. Look what I'm saying. Uh, I'm sorry. Hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't mean to say look. So hear what I'm saying. It is a scalping strategy. You're going to be asking there, oh, Eduardo, should I use it on a one hour? Uh, I don't know because I haven't back tested. If you want to back test it, go ahead, right? But it's a it it's a scalping strategy. So the 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 only time frame that I have back tested this for a very long time, uh, ever since I started actually trading um, retail trading, this was before uh, trading institutions. Um, I was using the five minute time frame. Okay, only. Again, people will ask me, should I use it on a one hour? Does this work on a four hour? I don't know. You will have to back test it. I have been using this only on a five minute because it's a scalping strategy. Okay, so uh, this would be, let me see if I can put this point. I want to put this thing like this and like this, like making the rules in there. So it's very important, guys, to, to have your rules. So anyways, you can see now right here basically what we need. This is a five minute time frame. So we're going to stick to the five minute time frame. We're going to have the time zone indicator. My Now listen, again, this is very important. My favorite time to trade, at least based in my country, you will have to Google it to see what time is in your location. A at least I like to trade from New York session, um, which is from 7 a.m. my country until 1 p.m. Okay, that's Eastern time, right? So why I like trading in those hours? Because I consider that based in my country is the first, is the, of course, the easiest time for me to trade. Um, it, there is more volume because it's, I'm trading the New York session and the Lo London session at the same time. So they are overlapping. So there's, of course, more volume into the markets. So you have to put that and in, in, into your, uh, into your uh, as part of your strategy that's why i have this highlighted right here because it helps me to back test and it helps me stay uh, like trading within this time you don't care like you are not going to be paying attention to get in in this zone you're going to be paying attention when the market is here you're going to be paying you're not going to be paying attention when the market is here you're only going to be trading when the market is in your zone and that's why you have to be disciplined and again, this is something you guys are failing because you are not being disciplined. All right. So you need to understand price action. If you're new in trading, you're watching this video for the first time and you have no idea what price action is, then I recommend you just go on YouTube and just type in price action, introducing, um, I don't know, course or free course for in, uh, introducing Forex or something, but or uh, price action based on price action, right? Because yes, you need to understand what price action is. Even though we're going to be using the, the moving averages, we need to know how the market moves and market is structured. Okay, so breakout of a structure, support, resistance, all of that stuff. Okay, so anyways, now let's quit the chit chat and let's go ahead and now I'm going to go to this day. Okay, this was today. I'm on GBP, JPY. So I mentioned you can use this anywhere. You can use this anywhere. Uh, right here, guys. What do we see? This is very important. We're even though we're trading right here, we have to see what happened at least on the day before. That's why if you're back testing, you need to see. Let's say the market just just you know this is seven, right? This is seven a.m. in the morning. This is when I start actually turning on my well, I actually start turning on my computer somewhere here. Now, 7 a.m., that's when I, I start actually jumping on the charts and checking the charts and everything. I need to look. I always try to look at least the day before. I don't need to go here. I don't need to, I, I don't really, because I'm scalping, I don't really need to go and check where the market is right here on a, a you know, six or seven days ago. I don't really care about that, okay? Uh, or all I really care about is just checking these two zones, at least this one, right? I'm waking up right here 
and I'm paying attention to this area. This is all I want to see right here, at least for the moment, right? Because as I mentioned, I am scalping, okay? So from here, what can I see? What, what? This is why you need to understand price structure, okay? So uh, we see, you wanna, you can, you can even highlight from yesterday, like, look, I don't need, to, I don't even need to look here. I'm just gonna be paying attention to how the market closed and was moving during my time, okay? Which is from seven to one, okay? This is highlighting from seven to one. So I'm gonna put this line here, and I'm gonna put this line. These were the two, the last two highs, right there, right? Now, where the market is, I'm seeing definitely once. I'm starting to jump in on the computer. I'm already bullish. Like the market has broken this previous high and even retested, right? It broke it from yesterday. It broke the high. It struggled right here. It did like a double top. It did stop right there, pulled back. Now break out of a structure, pulling back, double bottom. Okay, very important to understand again, price action. So the market did a double bottom right here. Now, what the market did is just the market started pushing uh, from this point on. Now, this is when I'm jumping in, right? This is seven. Right here, maybe my entry was a little late to get in. I should have made the entry like almost immediately because now we're seeing that the market is also breaking this zone, the body of the candle close above this area. So, very important right here. Literally, this is what we need to pay attention. The price broke this resistance so and i'm i'm above the the 20 the 20 simple moving average and the 50 simple moving average all right since i'm actually above of everything and i know the market has been breaking the structures now from yesterday the market was like going to the downside then all of a sudden it started breaking the structures to the upside okay we can see that right here also broke broken structure to the upside during asian session the market was kind of like trying to climb back up and it started climbing back up right here this is when the market climbed on top of the 50 and the 20 and they started bullish since then. So where should my entry be? In this case, the entry should have been there aggressively. The stop perhaps below. Now pay attention because it's very important here. You can put it below this previous low or depending on how far the two lines are, the two moving averages, you can either put it a little bit below the 50, okay? I know it's quite like this this is 33 pips right there but we're going to be aiming at least as I mentioned for a 1 to 2 or a 1 to 3 risk to reward whatever zone you're trying to reach whatever target it's very important once the market reaches you can use your your ruler right here once the market reaches halfway up please tp okay this would be your tp1 this is your TP1. Once the market reaches that TP1, put that shit on break even, okay? And let it run, all right? That's it, that is it, okay? Keep applying this. So again, either one to two risk to reward, once the price he, uh, reaches halfway up, perfect, break even. Oh, forgot to, to put in here, of course, the, uh, the other rule is uh, the price has to be a either uh, either uh, above the moving average averages or below okay I hope I hope it makes sense sorry for my English but what I'm trying to say here is that the price has to, if uh, in this case I'm looking for a buy, right? So the market has to be above the two lines, okay? Very important. It has to be above the two lines if that's what I'm doing. You see, I'm basically like following price action based on what happened on the previous day, okay? Now let's go to this day right here, right? What was happening? What do you see it's happening right here, okay? Again, very simple. From the day before, the, mar the market created this last high. In fact, you don't need to just be drawing those lines, not necessary, but just to, just so you know that from yesterday, now let's say you're waking up right here and now, okay, this is when I'm jumping in on the charts. Okay, now I see, what am I seeing? Structure, don't forget about market structure, okay? Price has been breaking structures all the way to the downside, okay? Ever since yesterday. 
all right so if the market is bearish right now I am going to try to continue bearish I'm going to try to just continue with my sales all right I know that some days the market will be just ranging like that if you don't like if you don't want to trade when the market is just going sideways from yesterday and today is it still sideways be careful because you could be the liquidity okay and I will explain that in a bit so okay what do we see we see that the market broke this previous zone it broke it came back up for retest right this retesting is struggle right there and this is exactly when my time is starting right 7 a.m. boom this is New York New York session right here so market is kind of struggling here I would look I would be looking to go up if the price breaks this structure but right now it's struggling and I'm still you know market is still breaking the structures to the downside so why would I be going for a buy right here I you see that the market from this candle the market is above the two lines right but it doesn't make sense to go actually on a buy why because price action is key right here let's for a moment just remove the moving averages right what price action is telling me is that it's been breaking the structures to the downside since yesterday so okay the, I, I just I'm just gonna wait here to see what's gonna happen if anything I would be looking for a sell right now very important sometimes you might want to you might want to see a candle pattern to jump in or you just want to jump in aggressively but if you know that the market is kind of struggling there to go up then uh, don't forget have your indicators open uh, okay right here so when should I get in I know the enter it's gonna be a little late but you're gonna be getting in once the market breaks below the two lines okay the two moving averages all right the stop loss because it's, it's price structure you can either put the stop loss here or a few pips above the 50 simple moving average okay it's gonna be up to you I'm gonna leave this thing up to you okay normally uh, retail traders will place the stop above this previous high right or you can just put it because you're following now the moving averages you can put it just a, a few pips above the 50 right there okay and what's your risk to reward you know you can either go one to two or one to three risk to reward okay so something like that again what do you need to do what is part of your rule right here did I put it here yeah so move your stops to break even once the price is halfway down so take partial profits and put this thing on break even let it run okay if you want to make two entries in a day it's up to you as again as long as you're spotting whatever formation you're seeing then go ahead if you just want to make one entry a day guys that's all you need you don't really need you don't really need to be making two three four entries a day if you are catching only one and you're following all your rules as part of your plan that's literally all you need okay don't forget that so beautiful sell right there we're literally we're just following the price the price was going down okay let's go selling and it gives us a nice position plus you can say here oh now you can combine the TP strategy right now those who are following me for a long time you know what the TP strategy is so we have a flag right here boom beautiful now you're trading the the breakout of the flag right the breakout of the flag just coincidentally happening with this candle right there boom magic alrighty now let's go to the next day I'm gonna put my rules here and let's go to the next day what is happening right here this day was really challenging right here and remember you're not gonna be winning all okay there is no 100% strategy there isn't okay this day was very like interesting right here because the previous day okay this was the the last low it looks like the market was starting to go up but then it started ranging 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 right here you can say okay well I uh, based on the structure well we can say uh, price struggle right there uh, price also let me see here just for a second price struggle in this zone to break above so we can say that this this was a channel the price broke right a struggle right here in this zone right it was a nice support and the price pushed up what should I do here should I actually go buying in this zone because the market now has struggled to go up or understanding price structure you know this is some type of reversal flag you have to understand guys 
a little of price action as I mentioned and this is part of price action this is a channel it's a flag that was broken to the downside and the price just came back up to retest the actual channel okay that's why you have to have some knowledge on on, on price action so what happened price came back up retesting it and now it's rejecting it's going to the downside but what should I do should I actually because now that the market of course it was kind of it, it kind of wanted to go up but this push was creating this reversal flag right so what is the price action telling you right here don't pay attention in this case to to the simple moving averages what is the market telling you right here it's telling you that it wants to go down this type of setup is telling you that it wants to go down this is just retesting right here so you see even from that day that's when it started just going down and melting and melting the day it wasn't the best however now open the moving averages we're going to be looking for sales right so you could have either like this is like right here if you're paying attention to this if you wanted to go on a sell in this area because you know the price could be retesting this area if you wanted to go on a sell this right here this rule uh, that they say the price has to be above the moving average or below in this case making a sell right here doesn't make sense for the moving averages because you are above the lines right if anything you should be buying like based on the on the moving averages but in this case because you know you want to go selling but the moving averages are telling you to buy should I trust price action or should I trust the moving averages that's a big question what should I do in this case guys I recommend you sticking to price action so where in this case would be my entry you if you want to if you know that you are looking for a potential sale don't jump in right away I know if it's gonna be a little late but remember this is retail trading so what you should do maybe once the price started going down and breaking the two lines it broke the the 20 and now it's breaking the 50 that would have been the entry this candle that broke right there that would have been the entry the stop loss above the 50 uh, the 20 right there just above that line and then hold that thing to either one to two I'm not sure if it would have reached it yeah maybe this right here and uh, one to two or the one to three let's say you want to stick to the one to three fine but it did struggle a lot right here and most likely stop you on break even you see that if you are taking partial profits right here halfway down look at what happened the price went up and most likely stop you out right there on break even but fine guess what you are able to take partial profits okay so not not every day it's gonna be a beautiful day for trading but guess what you still guessed the direction the direction was definitely to the downside so you should be happy for that you were like okay I understand yeah the price definitely wanted to go down from the moment it created this reversal flag okay just understand that let's go to the next day try to make it simple guys don't don't complicate things trading is already complicated so don't 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 try to make it more complicated than it looks all right so right here again I'm going uh, a day behind so how many minutes has been recording this thing I don't want to make this video too long guys sorry but I want to be very like detailed with this because I don't want you guys to miss anything again what are we seeing here price structure let's try let's start drawing some shit because you have to draw your things on the chart what are we seeing we're seeing the market has been creating this kind of like it's been struggling above this zone very 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 strong zone it's kind of like wanting to go bearish I see that the market recently broke this support it was consolidating definitely it was consolidating right here during Asian session but still you see that yesterday the market created this huge high and and since then it's been dropping now consolidating it's creating lower lows it's struggling right here now you're seeing the the price is, has broken to the downside and you're like okay market broke good if market broke now I'm seeing right here what am I seeing I'm seeing that even right here in uh, as soon as uh, New York session open right that's why I always like when I wake up I normally start turning on my computer somewhere here around 7 sometimes 5 to 7 you know getting prepared to what's going to happen you guys 
you can wake up a little early you can just jump in maybe 15 minutes before seven right just in case you don't want to miss that thing because what happened is the market was retesting right it broke which is beautiful i'm looking now i'm seeing the previous days i mentioned it's been crashing since then and the market it keeps breaking the structure breaking the structures okay then i will go on a freaking sale if i see the market reacting right there i will jump in on a sale boom my stop loss in this case will be above the structure okay a few pips above the structure and you can go your one to three or one to two whatever okay if you wanna as i mentioned uh after reaching halfway down please take partial profits move this shit to break even okay if you wanted to go on a buy after that it's up to you as i mentioned if you just want to say no i'm going to be trading only one time per day okay or you can just if you're not seeing anything right here with gj i mean you have a bunch of freaking pairs you know you can just just look for another entry right look for a favorite pair look for your usd look for uvp usd you know look for an indice or, or you know you can still you know you cannot just net you don't necessarily need to marry a particular pair and what i'm showing you right here literally i like i'm finding entries only in gj and it's giving me daily opportunities every time at least one entry at least one very accurate entry okay that's what we're trying to do so now let's go to the next day and i think i'm going to finish the video here guys i really don't want to make it that long but this is <laughs> it was a beautiful drop on this one but how what do we do in this case you know market was on the previous day where was the market the market was definitely struggling to break above this zone right here we did a, a nice top right there right then had a massive crash aggressive selling now listen you can combine if you're new on this you don't know what uh, supply and demand is well again I'm gonna give you this little tip right here right quick this previous candle the previous candle let me zoom in the the previous candle before the big move right that is normally called a demand right there it's a demand zone right uh, supply zone I'm sorry supply it's on the top and the man is at the bottom so anyways if you wanted to pay attention to this what do we see the market is freaking going sideways It's literally not moving anywhere and when I know I know when the market is moving sideways I know the market is building up liquidity what is liquidity for those who are actually new on this I will explain you liquidity uh, now I need to change the color of this thing hold on you put a red and this thing I'm gonna put it red too so okay uh, let me save it just to all right just liquidity okay right there beautiful liquidity area and right here above this highs we do have liquidity too okay so what is that when a market is ranging why Eduardo why are, are you saying that this is liquidity is because buyers and sellers let's say people when the market is ranging there are hundreds if not thousands of retail traders trying to actually look for oh what one second looking maybe looking for sales right there stop loss above because they know the market is ranging right the market is ranging let me do let me just do the the box right here so this is the box in the top and this is the box at the bottom right when the market is ranging like this is not getting out of this consolidation a bunch of traders retail traders let's say they want to go long every time the market reaches this resistance right here there are buyers here trying to to buy right there maybe holding it all the way uh, to the top or holding it higher depending on where they're doing but they are hundreds every time the market gets back to that zone there are more buyers right there every time the market gets to the zone there are more buyers in there so this lows by right here below this area this is all money sitting from this stop losses right here okay so the markets know the market makers 
know that their stop losses from all these retail traders, they don't even need to watch the numbers or anything. They know because they know that the stop losses are below. Okay? So it's very simple for them at, at some point to just make a crash, you know, make it crash. Just sell aggressively or buying before crashing. So you see what's what's going on here. The market is consolidating. The market created this order block right here. Big move to the downside. Then it started consolidating, moving sideways, ranging. Right? Big range. Building up liquidity entirely during Asian session. It's not moving at all right here. Now, boom, New York session starts. The price starts pushing up, like pretending it's going up. Boom, touching the order block. And that's when it's going to crash. So you see all the liquidity that is grabbing right here. Even right here in this area, there are retail traders trying to buy also from here. They are like, holy shit. They finally, the market finally broke that consolidation to the upside. So I'm going to go buying right there. One to four risk reward. Okay, let's go. Boom, the price, you know, the market induces these buyers to get into the chart. The price pushes up. They don't know that right here, there is a beautiful supply zone, okay? So this is when institutions are going to be jumping into a huge sale, right? So that's what happened. Boom, massive crash, okay? So this is simple. Right here, in this case, guys, you could have made the buy right there, okay? If you understand, as I mentioned, supply and demand, your entry would have been there. I normally place a, a sell limit order uh, or a buy limit order, depending. I would be aiming previous lows, at least, at least this lows right here, right? Of course, I'm normally taking partial profits everywhere. So if I see the market now going down, I I will be taking partial profits here, or you can do the, the same thing, you know, halfway down, take partial profits, halfway down, moving that thing on break even and let it run, okay? At that point, you can do whatever. But this right here is basically institutional trading. Now, let's see let's say you you didn't want to you didn't know about this shit right you have no idea what the hell is eduardo talking about i don't know shit about auto blocks so okay then don't do it what you need to do maybe most likely right here yes maybe you got stopped out right let's say you didn't know as i mentioned you didn't know about auto blocks so you just knew that there was a big resistance right here and okay i get it so market what the market did i saw that breakout okay i'm a retail trader so i'm going to be you know uh, going in there maybe placing my stop loss before uh, below the zone or even below the zone and right there you were aiming for that one to three you say one to three and uh what happened you were not prepared for this day literally as i mentioned you're not going to be winning them all most likely as i mentioned boom you entered there because you were First, you were the price was breaking the structure to the upside. Second, you are above the 50 and the 20. So that would have been a nice buy right there. You could have waited for that bullish engulfing right there. Okay, that was the entry. Beautiful. You made the entry immediately, bam, crashing, breaking to the downside. Now, okay, now you understand. The market has now broken this resistance, this support, right? It broke it. Now, what is it doing? Okay, you had that loss. What is it doing now? The market has, of course, aggressive sell, pulling back, and now giving you a trigger. So basically, it's kind of like retesting the zone. It's giving you a nice bearish engulfing candle. So maybe that was your entry right there. Stop above the zone, a few pips. And right here, you could have gone on a one to two, one to three. Let's see if they hit the one to three. Yeah, at least the one to three. Right? You said, oh shit, that, that thing doesn't want to go up. Most likely this was, uh, yeah, 835, 830. This was news right here. I believe this was the, it had to be some type of maybe at the NFP or some report that were coming up a few weeks ago. So that's what caused the, the market to crash like that. And because also uh, institutions were selling aggressively here from the day before. So anyways, if you lose that one, you are able to catch this one. Now you're following the structure. The market doesn't want to go up. So now it's breaking the structure, the consolidation to the downside very aggressively. It's up to you if you want to enter aggressively, you wanted to enter just on the breakout right there. It's up to you, but it's more kind of like, okay, where should I put now the, the stop loss? 
like above here above the 20 okay let's see if you would have reached the one two three uh yeah okay you could have reached the one two three if you would have entered aggressively if you saw that thing just crashing like that okay you enter aggressively place the stop above the the two lines right there and that's it right it's up to you okay but again as i mentioned this type of trade right here this specific day it was institutional okay so anyways i hope it makes sense this is right you guys if you're rocking this with me right now if you really like this type of strategy or this type of content just let me know if you want to see more of this strategy and uh, you can put whatever name you want to add this strategy in particular doesn't have a name i don't know you can call it the uh, i don't know the 20 and 50 i don't know <laughs> you can you can uh, place the name you want on this one but just test it out don't take my word for it just test it out see how it works as i mentioned you can use this in any pair literally if you're not seeing anything today based on what the market was showing the day before if you're not understanding this structure maybe it's ranging you don't want to trade ranges then go into another pair you have several right you have several options for this thing to to test this thing okay so again guys if you really like this thing Please subscribe give it a big thumbs up you know hit hit the like button it motivates me to keep posting contents for you guys uh, like this i know you like this type of content so just all i'm asking is give it a big thumbs up all right thanks again guys for watching and i will see you in the next video take it easy guys